Hey everybody, uh, today I got a Shimano TLD 50 LRS, which is a two-speed. Um, the customer came to me saying that he came because the handle was a little rocky. Now I don't necessarily see anything like crazy or super wrong with that, but it could be like some of the washers are worn or something. Uh, but what I did notice when I was cranking the, the reel in front of him was that the pinion bearing felt like it was bad. So I ordered some of the parts that I thought I might need. And we're gonna open this up and see what it looks like. What I don't like about this reel is that you can't open the the right side or the handle side. You gotta open it from this side and kind of stick your finger inside to work on things. So for me, it just kind of makes it a little more difficult. In any event, we're gonna open it up. So we'll start with the right side to remove this plate and pull the spool out so we can get inside there, and then we'll remove the handle afterwards. off these uh, screws. Gotta be real careful with it because I don't want to scratch these uh, the black off of these things. However, it's probably going to be inevitable that somewhere it comes on these when you open them up. Oh, let me get this into a free spool. Sorry about that. And this is just a just a repair, it's not a, a cleaning or anything. While I'm doing this, uh, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button uh, if you appreciate the content that I'm putting out. Um, also hit that like button as well, and be sure to tell your friends about the channel. Alright, so now we got that off. All my screws are out, that's good. Let's see if we can pop this thing off. I am pretty sure we don't have to. Oh, we did. I take that back. <laughs> we gotta unscrew this part first. Yeah, I'm turning this, is what I thought. There's a spring on the hair, so just be careful when you're taking it off. We can certainly push this out now. some housekeeping along the way so apologies in advance and I may or may not cut this out I don't think I will hardest part about making these videos uh, is doing the editing or what takes the longest but it's kind of boring just watching me do this stuff. So all right, so let's take the uh, well, let's take this off first. So let's take the uh, the handle off by undoing these two screws here. And you 
kind of want this up in, um, you want that pin up, not down. There's a spring under there that doesn't really fly out too often, but you do want to be aware of it just in case it does. And hopefully you can find it if it does go flying somewhere. Now obviously we're gonna see some wear on this reel, but you bought this second hand. Now we gotta take this screw out here. And I was gonna pop that uh that spring out, but you know, leave that in for now. Essentially when I do this, what's gonna happen is that the gear is gonna drop from the bottom, so you won't really see. Alright, let's get this up. And like I said, the, the spring itself doesn't really fly anywhere. Uh, doesn't mean it can't, but pull that up and I'm gonna stick this to the side so nothing really falls out. But I need to access the pinion gear and uh, for me to get to that, I need to remove this main gear. But I'm gonna check this stack anyhow and see, see what's going on there. Uh, where is our thing? Uh, I think this is counterclockwise to remove. When you do this, just be careful you don't, well, we found a problem already. I think we found a problem. This, this was pretty loose. So let's just double check that really quick and see if, uh, we still have a little bit of play. I don't really see a whole lot wrong. We might have some, I just have some wear on these washers here. There's one here and one under this low gear. So I guess we'll find out. I'm still holding the back of the uh, the gear so they don't really fall. So there's that. Uh, where's the washer? Washer here. And that might be it. Yeah, I think that's it. Screw that up. I mean, we have a couple of things working here where this might be the issue in terms of. Um, how snug it is, but that felt pretty snug. So I don't know. We'll see. Again, if it's not, if you don't see anything wrong with the reel, um, I don't really see that as being a major issue. So just for what it's worth. Let me pull this opinion out. Out. And if I can't get it out, I'm going to pause this video and pop it out of there and then come back to you guys because that will take some time. Yeah, we got it stuck in there. All right, so you know what I'm going to do? Secure this and then I'm going to pop that pinion gear out of there. I'm going to come back to you guys. All right, so we got the pinion gear out um, and I still need to get that, uh, that bearing out of there. Uh, so I'm going to show you this step and then get to the bearing. I have to remove this stack here to pull the gears up. So all I'm simply gonna do is put the handle on top of this and unscrew this and pull that straight up and then kind of work backwards. 
So you won't see me do this part because I want to get to this bearing and this is just gonna, I don't know, maybe take a little while, so. Anyhow, again, you're going to put the handle here, unscrew this, pull that straight up, and then you can you know, pull the, uh, the shaft through it, move the gears out of the way, and then I'm gonna get to that bearing and pop that out of there as well. Anyhow, he keep, every time I talk to this guy, he keeps telling me that he's not doing this or he's, uh, or that he doesn't want to be mentioned because he's not producing these anymore. But Ernie at Bearing Bad just does create some like really cool tools. So this is something he created that I was using, that slide hammer he, he made for me or he made and I got from him. Uh, the bearing pullers. Sure you guys have seen it before so he does like a lot of really good stuff and anyway, i know i said i wasn't going to clean this reel or anything in this reel but shoot it is nasty and it's so hard to resist so i think i'm gonna wipe this stuff down um so while i check while i check the gears not the gears but the uh the uh the washers there and see if those are okay so right now I'm just adding um, some grease inside here so we don't get that whole rusted thing that you see here, that craziness, uh, to help prevent it from happening. But if you don't service a reel, eventually it's going to happen. And then you're going to have to replace the bearing. Simple as that. So. And the other tool was um, the bearing packer was from Tani, Alan Tani. really smart guy anyhow sorry about that I went I got sidetracked I think I'm gonna wipe some of this stuff down and this video is gonna be taking a lot longer than I anticipated when I started it so hope you guys are still with me and if not I do understand so, <laughs> check out my other videos. <laughs> okay, so let's check these gears out. I'm sorry, these uh, thingamajiggies. I think my battery's gonna die on this camera. Yeah, I don't really see any wear on these things. Or not on this one at least. So let's clean this off and just regrease it. I don't know if I said this earlier, but I did notice that the um this screw here, where'd it go? Oh, when I find it, I'll show it to you. But that screw was slightly loose, um, so that might have been contributing to the to the handle being a little shaky, but I mean, it wasn't that bad, so I don't know. We'll see if we'll put it back on. So the way this is going to sit is that flat part or relatively flat part is facing towards the handle. This indented part will be facing down towards the 
no gear. one we can put this back on top I think I'm gonna add some in case there's any like uh, friction areas on there this really was supposed to be a simple video so I'm gonna keep apologizing to you guys because it's unexpected. I'm not sure why it was unexpected anyhow, but it was. I mean, I should have known. He got this stuff, uh, he got these real, well, he had two of these. Uh, he brought this one because of the handle thing. Uh, I suspect the other one might have some issues too. Uh, kind of half hoping he doesn't bring it to me because I forgot how difficult these things could be to get into, especially when those bearings are frozen up in there anyhow what was I saying I forgot I already did forget Stacking them in, but we're not gonna. Oh, let me show you how this one goes. <laughs> Get off. The indented part faces like that. Now let's check this one out and see. I've actually had these break in my hand when cleaning them. Because they, I don't know, sometimes over time they just kind of get brittle. So clearly if it breaks in your hand, then you might want to change it out. And of course, you don't always need to, which is funny about these, about reels in general. There's some things you can get away with if you are trying to do it cheaply. Uh, not that I would ever recommend that, but... And you certainly don't need to grease these things. Um, however, I am greasing them. And this one's gonna go like this. And that's gonna intersect with... Where'd it go? battery died sorry about that <coughs> so what I was saying was uh, I don't remember where I left off but I was telling you this fits inside this groove like this on the um, shaft here and it fits with the open area or the flat surface facing up just like that so it kind of insets and you'll see that as I put these things back in which I think I'm about to do right now. It's all good. I'm not cleaning inside here. I did clean this off. I'm going to add some grease to this and some grease inside here.
there's always this conflict when you uh, when you get a reel that's uh, for repair only, and you see it and you go, ah, uh, maybe it could use like a cleaning, but if all the customer wants is just a repair, then you do yourself a disservice, meaning me, if you do more than that, right? Because essentially you are saying, yeah, just bring it to me and I'll repair it, but I'll still do all the other stuff with it, meaning like the cleaning and, and re-greasing it, which you know, I want to be nice, but there's also a, a, the principle of the matter, right? Anyhow. Uh, so I will do some of this stuff, but I won't really, like I said, go inside that shaft there. Uh, I'm going to clean this off because these are the pieces that I um, kind of touched and would probably need it. That'll be good enough. All right, so let's add some grease to this too. see so we're just gonna stick this thing in through like this and god forbid you forget a piece and you have to do go back in there no one wants that I'm gonna raise this up a little bit and grease this piece here as well you want to make sure that pin there is set is centered or close to centered because you're going to be sticking some stuff on there. All right, so let's just put this main gear on. That's a good on a little bit more than that. The more you put it down, the more secure it just kind of stays in place. It's better for you. All right, there goes one. Put this washer on there. Hope you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. Make sure it's centered. There's a little groove inside that gear, so it'll just set in place like that. And then you put this one on top. Again, that part is going down or up, depending on how you look at it. Make sure it finds the groove. And I felt a groove there. And now we're gonna put, where's our thing? We're gonna hold this, take this, I need my handle on here. I gotta be real careful with this stuff. And if not, we'll just do it again. I mean, if we mess it up, that is. That's good. And it all looks good. Yep, it all looks good. Let's make sure. So now we take this piece, face that uh, deep end or concave end going down into those grooves there <clears throat> and screwing this in. Ay, puppy, no. I forgot my washer. Can I get that under there? I think so. All right, hold on one second. Let me get a new washer here because I don't like that that old one there.
I think it fits. So it should be fine. We're going to double check though. Okay, good. It doesn't matter if that slips up. All right, so anyhow, let's get back to this. I honestly dislike these reels. I don't want to say hate, that's a strong word, but golly. This is my ranting video. Hi. <laughs> uh, stay down. Let's see. Ugh. Get in there. All right, that looks like it'll work. so I'm just going to screw this in. I'm not going to do the entire way yet, but I'm going to get it started. And then when I do that, I'm going to make sure that everything is uh, set in place the way it should be before I continue. That's locked. That's spinning. That's good. That's always good. I'm sorry. Let's get this so you can see it. Then I'm going to continue. Still locked, that's good. And we're gonna just hold this down. There's no real way to do it without the uh, thing on there. That's good too. And that's spinning. So we're in business. All right. Okay, so it's been put back together and we're just gonna check it out to make sure it's working. Free spool works, which is always a good thing. Then we'll check for the, uh, the pinion uh, bearing. Trying to get real heavy, and that feels good, nice. And the handle shakes uh, a lot less, if at all. Uh, so I hope to help some of you guys out there. Uh, I do apologize for the uh, the length of the video. It was anticipated that it would be a lot shorter than that, but of course challenges arise, and we got to deal with them. Alright guys, I will see y'all next time. Thanks for watching.